Sweet picking is the technique where you drag like a sweep. Imagine you have a, a broom and you're, or a rake and you put it on the ground and then you drag across. So the way that works with the guitar, they have a Spanish name for it. I think it's pronounced arrastre. Not quite rolling the R's right. But what you do is you take, um, if you're using a pick, you would take your pick and then you drag through the strings across. Call it a rake, a sweep, a drag. Um, but the way that technique works is it's from the elbow. So the steps for doing this technique is different than alternate picking where we work more from the hand. Where it's more just the hand, like a hand wave moving in one small spot. Say if you're picking on one single string, you'll be often alternating more from the, the hand in a fixed place here. But in order to to get in a fixed place, it's often nice to have a guitar body that's large enough for your arm and elbow length where you can rest it on the side for this type of technique, which is great for strumming. Strumming is a similar motion to raking, but the way the rake works, kind of like I was showing in the intro here, is you need to first find the elbow pit, the inside of your elbow, and rest it on the side. So it wouldn't be super ideal if you have the guitar that doesn't quite fit your elbow length, and you're up here, um, you're not gonna have a really fixed poise, point to swing from, and it'll be harder to find your strings. Um, so for this type of playing, it can be really helpful to have, say, an acoustic guitar that you can rest your, your elbow on. So like that is step one. Step two would be to take your pick or your finger, your thumb, whatever you're using, and plant it on the string, start there, and then what you do is you rake or drag from the elbow. So not the hand. So this would be from the hand. That wouldn't quite work because we're going across so many strings. So hold the string and then from the elbow, you drop down. To each string. Ah, I'm not doing it. So step one, place on the string. Step two, drop from the elbow that's fixed on the side. So not having the elbow off or out, but tucked in on the edge of the guitar. Then you can pivot from the elbow. Resting on the big string, drop through. pick is going to rest on the string below. So that was a sweep or a drag or a rake. But that would be a down sweep. An up sweep would be starting from underneath the string and then lifting again from the elbow. aspect of this technique is that you always rest on the string beside it. I believe the, the word for it is apoyando, where it's leaning against or resting on or supported to the string beside it. Because sometimes when you pick a string, you can pick and then clear the string. That's the free stroke where you're picking away from the guitar. It creates kind of a soft sound, but that doesn't work for the sweep technique. The sweep technique, you want to rest on and rake or drag across until you land on the string below it. So that was the sweep with the rest stroke. Again, pivoting from the elbow that's fixed and rested on the side of the guitar. That's a down, and then an up, get underneath the string, drag and rest on the string above it. There's lots of little nuances or, or obstacles you may come in, into this technique. Often you want the pick to be loose enough that it, it flexes. It doesn't get stuck. And you also don't want to go too deep underneath the string or else you can get stuck too. So don't go much further than what the string is 
not much deeper, that would be another concept or aspect is the pick depth. So try to only go as, as deep as the string is. Another aspect is, is the rotation. So if the point of the pick is pointing up, it has a slant. As if the, the tip of the pick is maybe pointing upwards towards the heart. Then I can go through the string without getting stuck. So again, resting on the big string, pointed upward, holding it loose enough that it goes through, rest on the string below. Rest on the string below, rest on the string below, rest on the string below, rest on the string below. So now if we're going up, we often let the pick slant the other way. So getting underneath the string, letting the pick go through and rest on the string above. So that would be the element of the rest stroke. But if you're crossing a whole bunch of strings, we call that sweeping because it kind of looks like you're sweeping in one direction across the strings, which is great for arpeggios or picking across strings or doing the sweep technique where you drag it across, down or up. Or um, if you're holding a chord and you drag. It can have that cool effect. The other type of picking would be the free stroke picking, where you pick a string more from the hand and you're staying on a string usually. And you alternate back and forth. So instead of the rest stroke, this whole um, free stroke technique would be not resting on the string below it. So say if you were to pick all down, you would pick away from the string and end outside. So that's a free stroke. It has a much softer sound. But the rest stroke is that first technique which can work well for getting a louder sound, fuller sound. So you can use both techniques whether you want the rest stroke on one string where you're always resting the string beside it or you turn it into a rake or a sweep where you drag across all the strings always resting the string below or you do it freely you clear the string and you're not resting when you're done your, your pick stroke. Cool technique you can try. The rest stroke versus the free stroke. The, re the pick rest or the pick free. Um, which version do you like? I like to use both. <laughs>